Hey, what's up guys? It's Solex Gaming here and welcome back to my creative world once again. Today I wanted to show you a pretty cool design that I came up with for a sheep farm, or as you can say, a wool farm. And this is the design in its entirety right here. So pretty much all it does is you have a sheep sent on top of a grass block and once they eat, the grass block will trigger a block update, which will trigger this piston feed tape and cycle around the grass to the next available grass block. So. This design is really, I find this design good because it's really efficient. You don't have to have a lot of sheep in here. Even with one sheep, it moves very quickly. As long as there's a dirt block under the, underneath the sheep's feet and the sheep has been sheared by this dispenser with the uh, shears in it, the sheep will feel determined to eat again at a pretty fast rate. As you can see, someone just ate already and the blocks got shifted around. And as you, there they go, there they go. They just keep going to town. So you could put one sheep or many sheep of the same color in it. And if you're a person that likes to have a lot of redstone in your world and you need like wool to have colored lines of redstone so you don't get lost and confused, this is perfect for that. Just drop one sheep of your color in there or you can make, make, it, um, make it breed with other sheep and have many sheep of the same color. And then look how fast it goes. These were already here, but this one just happened. That's already 12, just that fast. So. Yeah, that's the design, and without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. Alright, so pretty much all you'll need for this is a hopper minecart, some redstone, dust, a hopper, some blocks of your choosing, a piston, I mean, you'll need four pistons, four regular pistons and one sticky piston, and uh, the, sticky, the sticky piston is optional, by the way, and a chest, a button, and two repeaters. You start with the chest, place your chest, place a hopper in the back of it like this. And then you want to grab some uh, rails and place them like this on top. And then on top of the rails, you want to place your hopper minecart. All right, after that, I want you to grab some dirt and place a block of dirt on top of the top hopper minecart. Oops. Like I said, place some dirt on top of the hopper minecart. So you go like that. Then. What you want to do is go up two spaces and place some glass of your choosing, just like this. All right, once you've done that, now it's time to start making the piston feed tape. So to do the piston feed tape, you want to do this. Grab some dirt right here, go right, go like this, and place one regular piston like this. And after that, you want to count out 12 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, then you want to go here, place a block, place a piston right here. Then you want to go here, place two blocks, and then you want to start over again. So place another regular piston right this, and then go ahead and count 12 blocks back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and just got it out there. You already know. Stop right there. You want to have a space here, and then add a piston right there and that's the piston feed tape done all you have to do now is place a observer I forgot to mention you need observers so now you need an observer and place it here like this and then grab a block of you choosing that's not dirt and then start routing out the pistons so place blocks under all underneath all the pistons all right and then on this piston right here you want to put a repeater at three ticks delay same as this piston on the front right side or the front left or whatever whatever side you're facing like this on three ticks delay then go ahead and connect all of these together on one line on one track like so all right now for this one I want you to replace that block with a target block and then all you got to do is wire it up like this And that's the piston feed tape done. Now to trigger it, you need to put a block up here next to this observer. And that's it. Now the last thing you need to do before you can drop sheep in here is you need to place a piece of redstone right here and grab yourself a dispenser like this and place it in there. Then all you need to do is place a um, some shears in the dispenser right here. Just one or two or however many you want. And then um, after that, the design is pretty much done. Now you just got to make it look pretty. And the way I do that is I like to kind of case this off like this, cover it up, and you can put some stairs right there if you wanted to. And uh, also, don't forget, if you want the grass to regenerate faster, you should put grass around your grass line. 
masterpiece tape, just like this, just so the grass has something else to uh, grow off of. So I'm just gonna cover it all in grass like this, especially in the middle, because you want your grass to regenerate as fast as possible in order for the sheep to keep eating as fast as possible. All right, and now here's the last thing that I wanna add. So this is your design, but sometimes the sheep will end up on a dirt block and you may see other blocks of grass ready for them to eat in, the, in line. So in order to get that to move again, you're gonna need to give yourself a monostable circuit. So in order for that to happen, I use one sticky piston right here and then an observer on it. And then all you have to do is put a button on the sticky piston if you're on, um, if you're on um, bedrock or below it. It'll, either way it'll work. And then when you press that button, It'll trigger everything and make the circuit move over again. Yep, and that's the design complete. All you got to do is drop your sheep in and enjoy getting wool very fast in Survival Minecraft. If you guys like that creation, let me know. If you want to see more survival-related creations that are useful, I'd be happy to try to make some. Just let me know, and uh, thank you guys for watching.